Hello, someone asked me a great question on how do I make this happen where, as you noticed, I had the first screen for some time, like a splash screen. After three seconds, we got to the next screen. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to build a simple app like this. It's a very common scenario. So uh, you notice this is the first screen and this is the second screen. In the first screen, you also see a timer and this is what we're going to use here. So let me show you how to do that from scratch. By the way, I'm not showing you how to add images. I'm assuming you already know these are very simple steps. If you need that, let me know. So I'll delete the timer so that this thing stops working. So now it won't do anything. It will just stay here. And here's a detail screen where I still have those details of the courses that Claudetica offers. So how do we uh, make it like a splash screen? So first thing you should do, like I said, make use of this timer control. So I go to input and use timer. And I got a timer control here. I mean, I could put it anywhere. I just put it at the bottom. Uh, the thing to use here for this timer is use a property called duration. Durations mean, duration means how long do you want this timer to run before it, it says that timer is up. By default, it says 60,000. So it's a 60,000 millisecond. That means 60 minutes, uh, sorry, 60 seconds. That's a minute. Uh, let's say we want to do it only for, I don't know, uh, three seconds. Uh, so now this timer will run for three seconds. Now here's another thing that you have to do is what happens when the timer ends. So when the timer end, you want this to navigate. And in my navigation video, I talked about how navigation works. So now you want to navigate to second screen and say false. And that's the basic thing that you got to do. I did not, sorry, not false, fade. Uh, that's a basic thing we got to do. And let's see what happens. It's We're not fully done, but we have made some progress. So still doesn't do anything. But once I click here, you will see the timer starts. It says one, two, three, and it goes to the second screen. So that means some progress made, but still not where we wanted it to. We don't want user to be clicking on this. That doesn't look good. So for that, what I will do, just use a property called auto start and set it to true. So what will that do is now user doesn't have to click on that and timer will automatically start as you can see at the bottom after three seconds it goes to the next screen so that's all you have to do but now one last thing you might think that hey having this timer on the screen looks very ugly do you really need to have it so good news is that you don't and still this will work so all you have to do is go to the visible property of this timer and send it set it to false timer will still work and let's see, so you will not see timer countdown, but as you can see after three seconds, it went to the next screen. So hopefully this helped. This is a simple way to have a splash screen, or you can say without user clicking on something, moving from one screen to another at the end of some time. Thank you.